Hi everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. This video will be a tutorial on the Wix Studio animation. I'm going to walk you through all the tools that you need in Wix Studio in order to create amazing animations. Onto the interactions panel, this is where we have all the things related to animation. This is basically where we can add motion and sequencing to any element on a page. And you gain total control to easily trigger cool entrance, hover, click or scroll animations on side components with just a few clicks. It's very incredibly intuitive even for total beginners. And once any interaction is officially saved, you will see a small lightning icon indicator on affected elements so that you know that they have got the effect on them. And now I'll walk you through a demo of building out a few examples in real time so that you can see just how seamless enhancing elements is. So first up we have the entrance animations that make items animate onto the page as they scroll into view. And this adds a great dynamic flair while catching the reader's eye as they explore content. I'll select this item right here and then head to the interactions, entrance panel and browse the preset animation options. And it gets the attention while keeping it very classy. The inspector settings then let me fine tune details like direction, delay before triggering, duration, speed and so much more. You can slow the logo intro down slightly and then have it slide in gently from the left to complement my overall palette and branding. And just like that with one click you have a polished way to highlight an item as visitors reach the top. Preview shows the exact user experience. A tip I can provide is that you want to use entrance animations sparingly on key elements for maximum impact as people scroll. Too many on screen at once risks overwhelming. Moving further down the page a little bit, let's implement a similar interaction to this main navigation menu on hover. I want the viewers intrigued enough to actively explore side sections so subtle slide animation on menu text seems fitting. We're going to follow the same process, choose element and then hit interactions, hover tab and select a movement preset that matches your vibe. The slide up matches the one we used earlier so keeping aesthetic consistent. Again you can adjust the delay using curve, duration and all of that. After that if you really want something one of a kind and signature to your own personal brand, you can hit up the custom interactions label to start handcrafting crafting tailored animations from absolute scratch to your own heart's content. Something like a funky bouncing effect when people first see your featured product, you can adjust the keyframe dots on this curve right here to dictate unique motion across the timeline. Toggle infinite repeats, ease in and out speeds. I have to mention that having some custom movement sequences takes some UI understanding and patience compared to convenient presets. But that's really the trade off for complete creative flexibility. However, I would highly recommend starting by tweaking pre built animations first to understand the basics before attempting to go with the original routines. If you made a custom interaction, don't forget to save it so that you can easily put it onto other elements later on for content specific elements that become part of your unique branding. For example, you can make a reusable wobble animation that is perfect for your e-commerce product images and differentiates your catalog from competitors when shoppers first arrive. Rinse and repeat the process to build up your own library of special animations over time. And finally, we're wrapping up with a very crucial mobile responsiveness test. Any desktop entrance animations, hover effects, all of that automatically carry over seamlessly to responsively render on tablets and phones thanks to the built-in inheritance web safeguards. But still, you always have the option to craft custom behaviors per breakpoint for more fine-tuned results across screen sizes. Just toggle the responsive icons at the top of the editor to dive into mobile optimization if desired. And that will be a wrap on today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know if you have any other questions in the comment section down below. And if you found today's video to be helpful and informative to watch, then give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any follow-up content that we can make related to this one.